Hello, this is Let's Play Free Game. Sorry, my phone is messing up a bit. Uh, so there might be a lot of lag in the camera because, uh, I don't know, my phone just likes to annoy me. So yeah, but uh, we've got a pretty decent card tonight, I think. I don't know how decent it actually is, but I think it's decent. Uh, so opening the show, we've got The Miz taking on David Otunga. I don't know if he's on five, so if he's not on five, I'm telling you not five. Oh, he's not five. Okay, whatever. Um, and then we've got Alberto Dario taking on Rey Mysterio in the second match. Then we've got the hardcore champion Diesel in action against Mark Henry with no title on the line. It's a non-title match. Um, and then the main event is Ryback and Drew McIntyre and Damien Sandow in a triple threat. So it should be a good card. I don't know how good it's going to be. Uh, yes, let's go. Uh, my episode today doesn't. Well, my episodes that usually have sponsors, but I've got Fanta Zero with me, so. Yep, Fanta Zero. You can't quite see it, but it's Fanta Zero, so. Let's take a quick drink. Washington, D.C. If Miz can somehow, um, if David Tunga can somehow beat Miz tonight, that means that he'll be he'll have a big win under his belt over a former WWE champion. Well, Miz has started off aggressively here. So this is main event. This is episode fifty nine. And we've just passed No Way Out, and No Way Out was a good show. I've got quite a few views on it already, so I'm pretty happy about that. We've got 10 or 15 on each part. So, yeah. But I think that No Way Out per view is probably the best one I've done so far. Uh, Extreme Rules was kind of dodgy, they made. I didn't want to put too much pressure on that because I didn't want that to be the way he win. He won. Even. Not the way he win. Doesn't make sense. Miz now working on the legs of Otunga. This is smart because it could set up Miz's figure four. Then he for some reason got taught by Ric Flair. Miz continuing to work on the leg. And as we said, this is a wise move, but Otunga finally countering. I've been playing WWE 13 earlier on the Wii, so this is going to be hard to try and win. 
I was playing WWE 13 randomly. I'm trying to get X Pac to my type to be my title holder on WWE 13, but it's not going very well considering he's like 50th in the rankings for both titles. So yeah, uh, that. Uh, Miz continue work on the leg though. He is focusing the attack on the leg area. Well done, Jerry. But you that didn't answer what the Otunga had to do now. So yeah, like I said, the camera's gonna be a little bit laggy and it is being now, so Yeah, this has been a great Should have restarted my phone, reboot with my phone even. Same thing. Uh, before this match had started, so I could have had like some decent footage. And not some shitty or glitched up footage, but you know. Life goes on. Um so yeah. I'm just continuing to work on the leg here of Otunga, which is, Man, this is uh, working. Like Otunga has had absolutely no offence. Maybe he's had one back drop, but I think that's it. Miz has just gone all out here on Otunga. Especially on those legs. Look at this. Miz will answer to those legs. And now, that thing... Wow, Miz continued to work on the legs. Knocking him down with the boot. David Otunga continuing to no-sell. Oh, but now Otunga trying to get some muffins back in. And now Miz. Figure four. Figure four by the Miz. And oh, David Otunga just makes it to the ropes. Miz just showing off now. And another, I think that's the reality check you call it, I don't know. Something along those lines and Miz just continuing to work on our tongue. Now you're going for another figure four. Yep, another figure four. And is our tongue going to get out? Not this time. Miz managing to win. Miz picks up the win. Otunga, absolutely no offence there. That was all me. I can't remember which match is next. I have a feeling I don't know what it is, but it's all about Dario's match, is it? Yeah. I was going to play this match, but I think I'm just going to stay out of it because, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like I'm going to stay out of it because if I'm playing, it's like one more one sided for me, so.
Well, we just heard that on the uh, on the Let's Play FBE Games WWE app that uh, Sin Cara and Rey Mysterio have broken up as a team because uh, they mutually split because they think that they can. Uh, I don't know. Oh, they just mutually split. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rey Mysterio said to Sin Cara that he he wants another partner to try and get to the top with. Not saying Sin Cara is, he's not saying Sin Cara is bad because Sin Cara is a great tag team partner, but he just needs someone else to win the titles with. And Sin Cara said, "Oh, that's okay. I'll just continue. Uh, go, I'll just go back to my singles wrestling." And um, they just mutually split up, and yeah, the end. That's the end of Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara. But I've got I've got a plan for Rey Mysterio. So Sin Cara is probably just gonna be like featured every once in a while on SmackDown or main event and. Mysterio is going to be a tag, uh, a huge tag guy. Maybe a future tag team champion if I, if I get to partner the guy I want to partner him with. Um, yeah, if I get them together, then, uh, well, I will get them together, but they might, I'll try and get them, tra I might get them tag champions. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Let me sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, there's a guy uh, that Mysterio specifically wants to be his tag team partner. And um, on SmackDown, um, Rey Mysterio and uh, the guy are going to have a discussion about whether they want to tag up or not. So I don't know if I'm going to use it as a segment or just as a like a thing just to say on the show. Uh, but yeah, Rey Mysterio wants a new tag team partner, so he's uh, still friends with Sin Cara. He's still a good friend. They might tag up at points, but uh, Rey Mysterio said he wants to move on and find another tag partner. So Rey Mysterio, while well, I've been talking there, Rey Mysterio's been in control of Del Rio. I was actually hoping Del Rio would win this. But it doesn't It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, but yeah. So we could see Rey Mysterio with a new guy soon if the guy accepts it. The guy who I'm saying it is accepts it. <laughs> I pretty much just confused people there. I'm probably at, I probably have. So long story short, Rim Steers broke up Sin Cara and wants a new tag team partner. He has a guy in mind who he wants to see if the guy wants to be his tag team partner, which I think makes sense. He, he pretty much is going to try and recruit a guy to be his tag partner. That's just it. But Rey Mysterio has had control, complete control of Del Rio. I've never seen anyone more controlling in my entire life. I bet Del Rio needs to do something. Del Rio has a power game, so he could try and... Uh, I don't know. Do some sort of strength move, but... Uh, Mysterio is kicking him in the head and that's probably going to be it because this game sucks. Oh no, maybe not. Wow! If that counts as a finisher, I feel bad for Mysterio but he's probably going to get the pin anyway. Mysterio with the hurricane runner. Come on, Dario, kick out. Dario, kick out. No! For fuck's sake. That's what happens when I don't play matches. Mysterio wins when I don't want him to. Oh well. Just disregard what Michael Cole said about it being the end of the show. We've still got two more huge matches. I'm talking of huge. The, uh, Diesel and Mark Henry are going to go against each other. There may be a Shawn Michaels and Diesel's corner, but that's not going to stop Diesel from... That's not going to stop Mark Henry or Diesel from just going at it in this match. That sounds kind of dodgy. I mean, like, wrestling. Um, let's go.
Oh, my phone had a mega freeze there. Diesel has two titles. So Michaels, just remember that you're face, not heel, so don't tell him to fuck off. Diesel never usually enters with his titles. It's weird why he'd enter with them today. But here comes the world's strongest man. Got to turn the volume down. I am so stupid. <laughs> if there's a setting on the game, which I think it probably is, where you could just have the entrance volume loud and the commentators quiet and all that other stuff quiet, that would be quite cool. I might try that. See if I can get it. Power slam by Henry on a 300 pound man. I'm actually going to try this. Have, I'm actually going to have a proper match, or at least a not one sided match in this match. Whoa, these are reverses. Nice taunting, Mike Henry. Wow, big close over Henry. I see every move's big, so shush. <laughs> wow, Mike Henry. He's a con. Oh, is Mike Henry going for a slam here? No, Diesel. Backbreaker. And now come, Michaels is calling him over for the and tips.
Apparently, Digiso was getting advice from Michaels. All Digiso, uh, all Michael said was just to beat him up. Well, I definitely, I definitely need to put a difficulty up. <laughs> definitely, I, I was meant to, but I forgot. Ugh. I'm gonna let him have some offense. Fuck it. Just go for something you'd usually go for, Henry. Henry, big splash in the corner. Come on, Henry. Mark Henry needs to do something fucking offensive. Two count there. I've got Rusev's uh, theme in my head for some reason. Mark Henry, the execution. Uh oh, Mark Henry in trouble. These are working on the leg as well. I've got to try and keep one of the big men down. Wait a minute, did Michael just take apart the table? Ah! Suck my dick, Michael. Suck my dick. Suck my. <laughs> okay. Diesel's gonna take advantage. Diesel with the diesel splash. The Nash splash. The Nash splash by Kevin Nash. The Nash splash may have just put Mike Henry out. Oh, Mike Henry versus. And Diesel get back in the ring. Nobody pushes my buddy, alright? Mark Henry wasn't even in the ring last week. He wasn't even on a show last week. <laughs> or maybe he was, I don't know. I lost. I, I don't care. I don't really care. Wow, that's good to keep Henry down. No! Mark Henry kicking out. And Nash going for his world famous Nash Splash. Nash could be going for the Nash Splash here. Nash Flash! Mark Henry somehow kicks out of the Nash Splash. Uh, yeah. It's called the Nash Splash now, get used to it. And now, Kevin Nash going for a Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes! Knockout Punch! Diesel got this from his friend Mike Tyson. And uh oh, Jack Knight. And now Diesel going for it again. Jack Knight. A diesel pins Mark Henry. Uh oh, we've got, we've got some news on the WWE app. Um, 
Kevin Nash has somehow managed to tear his quad while climbing up to the top rope. No, I'm kidding. Um, but ne the main event is Drew McIntyre for some reason, Ryback right and Damien Sandow for some reason. I don't know why this main event's happening, it's just a random thing I had in my head. I just wanted to drive back uh, two of the guys to go out of there. I don't know. And there he is again, just to make sure you know who he is. Wow. Here comes McIntyre. I think is next. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what, why? Where? It's a good job I was going right back, but still. Uh... No. But why would the... Uh... Wow, McIntyre! <laughs> Not that it really matters because a triple threat is another qualification anyway. Oh, Damien Sandow and Ryback working together on McIntyre, but McIntyre reversing it. Damien Sandow and Drew McIntyre, uh, uh, Damien Sandow and Ryback are trying to work together on McIntyre. And it's a good strategy, get one man out, or get the guy that you don't like. Problem is, the two guys, the uh, two guys who are heel hate each other. And a heel in the face is working on a heel. I don't know if Ryback's a face or not, I don't care. But right about going for a chair. Why he's moving this another qualification so much. Wow, hitting Sandow. Wedging it in the corner. Wow, another power slam by McIntyre. Just move it one minute. McIntyre, I was just moving. Could you not wait a minute and go and attack Sandow? God damn. You disgust me. So do you. I don't even know what I was doing there, but you know, okay. I just got to work on Sandow on the outside. Why not? You can go back in. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Well, Ryback has had a bit of control, but now McIntyre's regained control. Sandow, but the DET on the outside to McIntyre. <laughs> Ryback attacking the ref, McIntyre. Ryback and Sandow still working together despite the fact that Ryback rammed Sandow's head into a chair. Me, Hook! Is that going to be it? Sandow looking for the pin. I think oh, McIntyre kicked out before I brought it up, so...
I can tell you with another slam. That was uncalled for, I can tell you, you slip back. Wow. Ryback right stepping out the ring and. Ryback right up with a chair. Ryback's right gone mad. Even though he's already mad, but you know. It's not the point, the point is Ryback. Right Taking control here. Did he just say dry back? Wow. Maybe he didn't. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Robert misses with the diving clothesline, but suplex through the table. And the suplex on the apron. Now another meaty hook on the outside. Robert maybe goes for the pin here. And now Drew McIntyre and Ryback are working together. Funny alliances are made in triple threats. Ryback's just trying to work with anyone, I think. Into the chair. And I go for the pin on Sandow. The Kobe to Akiet by Ryback. Oh, what time have signatures? Drew McIntyre right back now. Oh, poop. Yeah. Well, McIntyre, signature move. Oh, Ryback saying feed me more. Could be going for the pin on McIntyre. Oh, Ryback. Oh, into the corner goes McIntyre. Into the corner goes Sandal. What's Ryback going to try here? Oh, no. He's not going to do it, is he? Oh, can he lift him? Double shell shock. Double shell shock by Ryback. Ryback pinning Damien Sandar. One, two, three. Double shell shock and Ryback picks up the win. Feed me more. Uh, 
and that is the end of the main event as uh, episode 59. Next is our 60th episode special of SmackDown. It's just going to be the same as any other SmackDown, but it's still the 60th episode. So we're not having that match. We're not having that match. We're not having that match. We, not, we might have that match. I don't know. No, we're not having that match. And we're not having that match. Uh, Edge and Orton still in the rivalry. God damn it. I'll put them out of a rivalry. Oh yeah, put Ziggler in it. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, I might as well just tell you about my rivalries then. Uh, I've not got a major championship rivalry because uh, you know about the Brock and Rock situation. Uh, it was on Raw. On my Raw, not the real Raw. And then we've got uh, maybe Savage and Steamboat, maybe. I don't know, I might change that. And then we've got a feud between Stone Cold and Triple H set up. Then we've got, for ECW we have Jack Swagger and Sandman uh, feuding over the TV title. Uh, and we've also got uh, Daniel Bryan and Tazara feuding over the ECW title. That also involves CM Punk because he won the match uh, over Cesaro to get the contendership as well. So it's going to be a triple threat. And then Edge and Ziggler feuding. I think that'll probably be a match at Money in the Bank. Uh, Barrett and Sheamus of the Intercontinental Championship. I think I might change, but I don't know. And uh, Lita and Natalia over the Divas Championship. Some of these were meant to be spoilers, but I've just spoiled them. So, Well, some of these were meant to be surprises, but I've just spoiled them. So, oh well. I'll see you next time for some Smackdown, and that will be the episode 60. This has been episode 59 of WWE 2K14 Universe Mode. I have been Let's Play FB Games. This has been Fantasy Zero, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.